Ayagichi ka kalsa, waigichi kifate. This morning while reading the five Bonnies that every Sikh is instructed to read in the ambrosial hours of the morning, I couldn't help but think about the accusations that have been leveled against me for criticizing Yogi Bhajan. Because as these 3HO people and the Sikhs say, Yogi Bhajan, after all, brought me and many other people into Sikhi. In other words, Yogi Bhajan is responsible for bringing me and other people at the feet of the Guru, to the feet of the Guru. Now, I believe that Gurbani speaks directly to why this is not the case. And I'm reading from the 34th and 35th Podis of Anansa. It says, Gurbani says, God comes to reside in the heart if so predestined by Guru's grace. And then in the 35th Podi, it says, when with the grace of the Guru, I obtained the understanding, I realized that God is one and that there is none else except him. Nothing about Yogi Bhajan there. Nothing about other people, including Yogi Bhajan, being responsible for bringing us to the Guru, to bring us to the feet of the Guru, to bring us to Wai Guru. Wai Guru is all that exists. Wai Guru is the doer. That's enough said about that. Now, to the other accusations that the 3HO people level, level against me, saying that I'm a fanatic, all I can say is that for the last 40 years, I have tried to live my life according to the rehat of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. I have worn five Ks for most of that time. When I was with the Yogi Bhajan's group, I did not wear a kirpan. But then when I realized that I should be wearing a kirpan. I immediately started to wear the kirpan. Also reading the five bodies every day. Yogi Bhajan never instructed us that we needed to wear, wear the, all the five Ks, including the kirpan. He had many uh, faults, as you say, and I think he did a lot of damage. And led people into doing a lot of these Hindu practices which are not part of Sikhi. Now, I have nothing against Hindus. They should practice their religion the way that is set out for them to practice it. But if people are calling themselves Sikhs, like Yogi Bhajan did, and the 3HO people still do, they use Sikh names like Singh, Kar, and Khalsa, they should be following the Rahat of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. They should be following the path of Sikhi. And just to be going around doing whatever feels good, whatever is PC or whatever they think brings them to God, that's not the path of Sikhi. Sikhi is a path of rules and rehets, code of conduct. That's what is set out. And when I criticize Yogi Bhajan, when I criticize 3HO, I am not a hater. I am only interested in bringing them into the correct path, following the rules. And if they don't want to follow the rules, then they shouldn't call themselves Sikhs. That has been my argument all along in the last 
10 years or so that I've been criticizing them after I left Rachel. So thank you for your time. And I hope you watch some of my other videos where I outline many of these violations of the Sikrahep Mariata that are being carried out there at the Yogi Bhajan Dara. And I outline very specifically the violations of the Sikrahep Mariata that Yogi Bhajan did. And I think it's very crystal clear. Yogi Bhajan had his own rehat. He had his own path. That's why I call the people who follow him Bhajanists. It's Bhajanism. It's not Sikhi. So, if what I'm doing qualifies as fanaticism, then so be it. I'm guilty of that. But as I've outlined and I've said, all I'm interested in is seeing the disciples of Yogi Bhajan follow the correct rehat of Guru Gobind Singh if they want to call themselves Sikhs. If they want to call themselves Bhajanists, that's fine. There's nothing illegal about it, nothing wrong with that. But they shouldn't be categorizing themselves as Sikhs and calling themselves Sikhs. Because what it does is it really influences young Sikhs and people who are trying to understand the path of Sikhi um, and those that are really truly interested in learning more about Sikhi. It's a bad influence on them. What they're trying to teach the Yogi Bhajan's uh, hodgepodge of teachings as being Sikhi. That's wrong and they shouldn't be doing it. It creates a bad image for Sikhi. Thank you for your time. Why could you call Sa? Why could you keep a day?